Tosa Nabasi, best known for his work on the instrumental powerhouse Animals as Leaders. He has quickly become one of the most innovative guitarists of our generation by combining classical guitar technique, jazz, and even some bass technique in his playing. So in this video, I'm gonna be giving you five ways on how you can make your music sound like his. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider doing all that YouTube stuff below as it really helps out the channel and we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. So the first method we can use to make our playing sound more like his is with very rhythmic playing and also playing at odd time signatures. So with the example I'm about to play, I'm using the time signature 1916, which means that there are 19 16th notes per measure. So there's a myriad of ways you can group these 16th notes. For this example, I had three groups of five 16th notes followed by four 16th notes. Now the second method we can use to make our music sound more like his is with exotic tonality. Now, the way we can achieve this is with exotic chords. A lot of his chords that he uses share one common tone in between, so he can get some pretty uh, alien kind of sounds. And another way we can kind of capture his exotic sound is with the altered scale, which I generally hear a lot in his kind of music. For those who don't know what the altered scale is, it is the seventh mode of the melodic minor scale. And in this example I'm about to show you, I'm using it as an E altered scale, so that'd be the seventh mode of the F melodic minor scale. So I'm gonna play a little bit of my example, starting with the rhythm guitars. And I use the song Mama Myth as a reference to kind of create this track, so it's gonna sound pretty similar to that song. So the first little bit sounds like this with just the rhythm guitars. So the thing I really wanted to capture with these guitars is first the rhythm to really feel that 1916 time and then also the altered scale. I'm hovering around the E root note and just kind of picking some random notes throughout the altered scale to play with it. Now the third thing I'm going to bring up about his playing is more of kind of a production thing is that they have some super kind of plucky synths in the background which kind of outline more of that rhythm and also that tonality. So these are the synths I kind of came up with for this. Now our fourth method of making our music sound more like Tosin's is using more of his advanced guitar techniques. The first one I'm going to bring up is his thumping technique. So thumping is originally a bass technique that Tosin was inspired by Victor Wooten to start incorporating into his style of playing. And there are a ton of videos on YouTube on how to practice this technique and really get it down. Um, I'm not the best at this technique, so this little bit that you're going to be hearing is definitely not the best. I am not like Tosin. And in my example, it sounds like this. Now, our fifth and final way to make our music sound like Tosin's is his selective picking. Now, this technique was coined by him and refers to breaking your hands into two different kind of parts. So your left hand would play hammer rounds out of nowhere, and then your right hand would pick some other strings along with it. There is a fantastic video by Ben Eller and also Tosin going over this technique in extreme detail, and I highly recommend that one. So the part I came up for this was just, re again, reinforcing that rhythm and then also playing around with the altered scale kind of sounds. And that sounds like this in my example. So these are the five ways that you can use to make your music sound more like Tosin's. I'm gonna let my example play for the rest of the video and I'll catch you on the next one.